guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. I know I haven't uploaded in quite some time but I'm back and I will be uploading more consistently. Um, I'm back with this look and I absolutely love the way you turned out. Um, I hope you like it as well and I'm going to show you step by step what I've used to create this look and also all the products will be mentioned in the video so let's go ahead and see how I created it. So first things first I'm just going to prep the skin and I'm going to go in with the moisturizer from Benefit and this is their like triple performing one. So I'm just going to take that and gently just buff it onto my face everywhere except the eye area because I'm going to put eye cream on it and as you can see my skin is not doing so well today um, but I'm going to film anyway because this is real life and then I'm just going to go in with its potent eye cream again from Benefit and just put a little bit on my eyes for the eyebrows I'm going to use my favorite and this is the Gimme Brow in shade number three I'm aware that they've released new shades now so you can get it in like a lot of different ones before it was just one three and five which was like light medium and deep um, but I'm still using the three because I think it's a great match um, I don't really like the five because it's too intense I still like them to look quite natural this is one of my go-to product every day I use this even if I want a natural look I'll just leave it like this or if I want to intensify it then I'll just add more or I just shape it up with a brow pencil but it's just, I find it so easy to do my brows once I have the shape in place with this. Um, where if I start with a pencil or with a form, maybe it takes me a lot longer. I'm just going to leave the brows as they are and move on to my eyes. And for base, I'm using the Paintly by MAC, which looks like this. I used to use the Soft Oak before, but I find that now that I have no tan, it's too orange for my face. So I'm just applying that all over the lid with the... MAC 195 brush and I really like this brush because it's got a pointy end so it allows me to get such a clean shape of the brow and it's really really easy to use as well where with a flat brush I would have struggled to really get a clean line and I've literally bought two of these because I need it <laughs> So now that I've applied the base all over the eye, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Laura Mercier translucent powder just a little bit and dash it all over the eye just to set everything in place. So for the transition colour, I'm just going to use a red brick by MAC and I'm going to use my 225 Zoeva brush which is amazing. I have so many of these because I think it's just the perfect brush really. I've tried so many and I feel like this one is really good for blending and it just makes my job so much easier um, yeah it's really good I really recommend it and I think it's like £9, £8.99 something like that which is so affordable so anyway I'm just taking a little bit on the brush and gently buffing that onto the crease because the colour is so pigmented I always find myself using this colour as a base because it's such a rich orange colour and I feel like it's great for like any base. I use it with browns, I use it with colour, everything. So as you'll be able to tell, I have not been posted in a while, which is not great. I've taken a break for a bit and it was purely because I just didn't find the time to actually film. Um, again, I'm working full time. Whenever I did have a day off, I had to do something or I was feeling way too tired to actual to actually film my working hours has changed and I work different shifts I don't have set days off so it was making it very very difficult for me to film but hopefully I've gotten into a routine now and I just need to be a lot more strict with myself and make sure I film because this is what I like doing and this is what I want to do so expect more videos I'm really happy with the base I am going to go back to this color to kind of blend everything in uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and use the green um, and again I'm using colors that are from MAC this is one of the individual shadows uh, called humid and it's a frost shadow which looks like this 
it's a beautiful green color and I'm gonna apply that all over the lid and then blend it onto this orange so I'm just taking that a little bit above the lid line because I need to blend the two colors together and as you can see I am not being very careful with the way I'm applying this now I'm going to take the other brush go back into a red brick and blend that in together although I love this color and I think it's so nice and pigmented and it's not too glowy because I'm not really a fan of like too much glow in the shadows it is hard to blend it takes a lifetime to blend it in but it's worth it for liner today I'm going to use a pencil liner and this is from MAC again in the colour Graph Black and this is just a twist up one which I find really handy because I don't have to sharpen it so I'm just going to put a little bit just where the lash line is and then smoke it out and I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing that I've done there just on my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to do the blue underneath the eye and for this I'm using again the MAC Single Shadow and this is in How Royal and it's one of their like pearl um, finish and it looks like this again a beautiful um, I would say kind of bright blue and I'm just going to put that all over the eye um, but just underneath for this I'm just going to use a uh, Urban Decay dual brush and I'm just going to use the one that's kind of densely packed. Um, it's not too pointy but it's just really handy for the lower lash line uh, because the bristles are really packed. So now that that's done I'm going to move on to skin finally so this look can come together. Uh, because the skin is literally not doing it and for this I'm gonna use the Goldie Light again by MAC this is a stroke cream just so it gives the skin some illuminosity I hope I didn't make that up but just a soft glow before that I'm gonna use the Scandinavian uh, primer and this is for is it for oily skin? no but this is their like green packaging one. I get on super super well with this Um, I just put a few pumps all over my face and just let that sink in and I have really oily skin and I find that I use um, and I find out by using the primer and I also have the setting spray I really don't get oily throughout the day which is amazing I've been looking for so many products that can help this skin not look so oily and since I've started using their products, it's been a game changer really. Um, so religiously I use the primer and then I use the setting spray which has the oil control in it which looks like this. So it's with their like normal packaging. Um, together I got the really big bottles and they're actually running out. Um, I literally use it every day. Um, but I'm really really pleased with them if you do have oily skin or looking for a new primer or anything like that do give them a try because they are really good so anyway I'm gonna put the stroke cream um, on next again this is the goldie lie I'm just gonna apply it on my fingers and then just buff that into the skin and you can see the gold reflex on it and this is really nice if you want to get that dewy look or your skin's really dry and you want it to just bring back some light into it if you use a foundation that's really light this will show even more I'm gonna go in with a double wear because this needs some help uh, but you're still gonna see a little bit of dewiness coming through which is just what I want. So I'm going to go in with Estee Lauder Double Wear and I've actually gone back to this foundation because the first time I've tried it I didn't get on so well with it um, and I decided to recently give it another go and my skin is loving it. I get so many compliments whenever I wear it so this is my go-to now. I use it every day. The shade is 1W2 which is sand um, I think I'm in between 1W1 and 1W2 so I'm going to be mixing those 
I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender with some uh, Fix Plus and this is just a normal one. I'm not really a fan of brushes when it comes to putting foundation on because since I've started using a Beauty Blender I just couldn't go back to anything else. And then take the concealer, this is again the Double Wear Concealer in 1C which is, which is the shade, it's just light. I'm just going to set the underneath, uh, under my eye area really really gently and for this I'm using the MAC Studio Fix in NC25 and a brush that looks like this so it's just a big buffing brush but this one is a little bit narrow so it really gets in there and that is the Spectrum C07 brush now for bronzer I'm gonna use the Banana Bronze again by MAC and this is one of the like, limited edition packaging one and I really like this because it's a little bit like the Too Faced bronzer um, and it's not orange, it's very neutral, it doesn't go patchy when I apply it which is the go and then I'm just going to use the MAC 460 brush which is one of the like little Christmas edition bronzing blusher brushes which is very handy. I'm really going to keep it away from my cheekbone area because I'm going to put a little bit of blusher for change um, and then I'm just going to work that into my hairline. Now for blusher I'm just going to take Viva Glam 5. This is again a lipstick by MAC and I'm going to put a little bit on a brush and then softly just put it on my cheeks because we are going for that dewy look. Not too dewy because it's, it's not me. Um, and we're going to avoid powder. I feel this looks a lot more gentle on the skin and more natural. So I'm going to take this um, highlighter brush which is again from Spectrum and is the A10 brush. I'm just going to keep it like this and then just go ahead and put a little bit of the lipstick on there and then brush it against my cheeks. I'm just going to take a cream highlighter and actually this one is from Primark and I think I've spent about six pounds on it or something like that. I really wanted to see how it performs and I love it. Again just looks a little bit more dewy, more natural. Um, I've just applied like a little bit on the back of my hand and then just gone in with my finger and dotted the, on the high bone of the cheek. And just by using my finger I'm just going to blend that in. And you can intensify this just by adding more. You can also add it in with the foundation at the start to look really, really glowy. Um, and for £6, that is £6, really well spent. And well done to Primark for doing these. And I also like to just dab a little bit here. Because again, this is where the light hits. This is where you're really looking. And I like it to be glowy if I'm going for that glowy look. If you can hear some noise, I'm really sorry, but it started raining outside. Um, hopefully you can't. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes to this look. If you want to, you can just add mascara. I'm a big fan of that. I don't really wear fake lashes, um, but I feel like the look needs some lashes to complete it. In terms of glue, I'm using the normal duo glue, which stays on really well and dries really quickly. So this is the look with the lashes on. I've gone ahead and added some mascara, and this is the Roller Lash by Benefit, of course, my favorite. For lips today, I'm just going to use the pencil by MAC, which is called Nice and Spicy, and I'm just going to outline my lips with it. And I'm just going to take a lip gloss by um, Too Faced, and this is the Melted Matte Ones in the shade Child Star. So I'm just going to take a little bit and just brush a little bit of the applicator onto this and then apply it to the center of my lip. To finish it up I'm just going to add a little bit of the glow to the lip and for this I'm using the Fenty Glow lipsticks like lipstick <laughs> like this and again I'm just going to take the applicator and just brush a little bit on that brush and apply it to the lip. And to finish everything up I'm just going to take the setting spray again by Scandinavia and just apply it all over the place. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and you've liked this look I've created. It's a little bit different than usual because I've gone for more of a dewy face which I would normally stay away from but I'm actually quite digging recently. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel uh, which is just there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up um, as well as makeup videos. I also do full videos which if you subscribe to my channel and you watch my videos, you'll see as well.